Hey y'all, today we're doing another reaction video for our good friend TNT Season Showtime. The meme show workers for of Mr. Meaty. I think. I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's get started with the reaction video. Now to ours. Copyright, so I'm gonna get in trouble. Hello, here we go. It's the show! Hey, Bebe! Yeah! Woohoo! This is the place to be if you want to have fun. And in today's episode, it's about working at a place called Mr. Meaty. It's based on a hit TV show on Nickelodeon. And there is more. We got extra servings of songs. And again, I, I want to get copyrighted for this one, so I got to turn it your way. Yeah. Now, for all the awesome fun, start the episode. It's showtime! Now sit back and enjoy the show. More to yourself. I'm done here. Where's my burrito? Where's my burrito? Hello, sir. Can I take your order? Hi, Tion. Hi. Hi. Oh, hey guys, I just got a job at Mr. Meaty. Whoa! I can't believe you got the job! That's right, Victoria. And the more I did a good job on my job, the more I get a paycheck for what I did. Hello! What you doing? We wanna know what's up! Hey, Addie and Doodles, you're just in time. I just going to say the same thing over again. I just got a job at Mr. Meaty. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, that's great, but you know, I have a feeling that people can eat chicken here. Yeah, when you think about it that way. Oh. Addy hungry. Addy must have food. Ooh, I'm really sorry, fellas, for wasting your time. Must get back to work or else Edward R. Carney and Wink are going to shut down this place before they get back from their holiday. And believe me, there is a new boss in this place who hates competition food. And he's not a fan of it, too. It's all right, Tion. We have to be very patient. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ha, good one, Victoria. Just... Continue ordering the, um, some food. Oh, I will, Victoria. Don't you worry about a thing. <laughs> yep, I gotta tell the others to order them some food. Yeah, I just want them to stay on their side of the fence. <laughs> Hi, Tion. Oh, What's up? Blur. I just got a job at Mr. Meaty. <laughs> What the heck happened to my cashier? It was a long story. <laughs> Especially some punches knocked him in the head and had him conscious. You crazy doofuses. I just hired him to be a cashier. I hope y'all better replace him. Or else. Well, we'll just stay here for now. I'm ready for tomorrow. Don't you worry, guys. Hold down the fort. I'll go check on Tion. Yeah, yeah. All right, you lousy goons. Time to get to work. Go take people's orders pronto. Let's just split up and take their orders. Great idea, Flegel. All right. I must got to do what I have to do. Mr. Meaty, nice to meet you. Sembado, snutter, model. Mr. Meaty, uh, can I take your order? DJ Munch. 
If you ever try to mess this up, you're dead. Oakley, Oakley. Hey boss, we got an order for the big meaty combo meal that includes the meatball sub and a burger. Right now, it's not the time to ask questions because one of my ingredients are trying to attack me. Back off, you crazy fool. I'm not tasty. Now y'all be doing all the cooking. Do you know how to cook? We don't know. We've never done this before. Gosh darn it. Just look up an instructional video and... You'll never take me alive! Come back here, you bird brain. I got a bad feeling about cooking. Me too. Yeah, but how? First you take the bun. Second is the patty. That's incredible! Third is ketchup, pickles, and lettuce. And fourth is another bun. You're done. We know just what to do. Twenty minutes later. That looks perfect. Here's your big meaty combo meal. Oh boy! Don't mind if I do. Nah. -uh. Huh? Gotta ask yourself one question. How bad do I want it? Now go get it. No! I'm not buying that. You are gonna like it. Oh, all right. SpongeBob reference. <laughs> That is the best meatball sub I've ever tasted. When did you learn how to make it? I just made it out everything in the kitchen. Your class talk idea didn't work! Then that must mean... Alright, I'm back. Sorry I was gone. Ah! Where did the kitchen go? He started it! Ah! <laughs> 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 Here's a cheeseburger for you, and they accidentally put green beans on our butt. Stupid idiots, y'all are ruining me. You guys have one last chance, or else say goodbye to your hard headed friend of yours. You see this plate of beef and cheese lasagna delivered to those two customers. There's no way you pinheads can mess this up. We're just doing kid stuff. You know how it is. Pot of macaroni. Pot of macaroni. <gasps> oh, sugar snacks. I don't need it. I don't need it. Definitely don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Papa, I want a jelly bean. Alright. Uh, I am going to kill you! I don't know, that door's locked. He shouldn't be able to get in. It's crunchy! Oh my gosh, he caught us. Looks like it's time for a plan B. Well, I better hope it works. I guess my idea is going to work. You better leave them alone. How about you? You stay away or you'll be next. Say hello to my little friend! Oh no. Just knocked you out. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Uh, what happened to the Mr. Meaty restaurant? Did you guys blow up the Mr. Meaty restaurant? Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> you maniac! You blew it up! Great, just God, great. Now the father and CEO of Mr. Meaty is having a fit. What are you gonna do, Tion T. Stevenson? I'm gonna stand up to him and tell the truth. What we really do is say is that he's gonna do it again. Oh, he is? He's right behind me, isn't he? Yes! Oh, what just happened? I don't know, Tion. But why are we in this pile of green beans? You buffoons have destroyed my restaurant and make me mad. Now the founder and CEO of Mr. Meaty is still pitching a fit and your own substitute boss is perished due to the explosions because of all of you. I cursed you to be trapped in the pile of greens beans for all eternity. Now I must go and rebuild this restaurant and restart this grand reopening all over again. Later lousy jerks. Well, so much for keeping it busy just to get paid. I almost lost my job for this. No doubt about it, Tion. Why did it have to be Sloppy Joe Day? Well, this sucks. Oh, by the way, two things. I have someone who would like to spend some time with you. You picked the wrong house, fool! Oh, no. It's bad. And as for you, Mr. Stevenson, you're fired. Turn in your uniform and your name tag. This cashier job is over. And also that hat. Thank you. And good riddance. I can't believe I lost my job over this. No, I'm never gonna get paid. Well, I guess you'll find a job soon. Well, as a matter of fact, we must need to learn to not lose our jobs. And that's the motto right here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. Have a great night, and we'll see you on my next video.